to Cinema's Underbelly, the channel where we dive into the deepest, darkest trenches of the underground to analyze and review the most obscure, obscene, and controversial films that cinema has to offer. I'm your host, Jonathan Doe, and today we'll be reviewing the infamous Green Elephant. The Green Elephant is a 1999 Russian exploitation film directed by Svetlana Beskova. The film centers on two Soviet Army junior officers who are being held captive in a military prison. We discover that the men's names are Bartishka, which translates to brother, and Pokhovshi, which translates to nutcase. The room in which the men are being held is a disgusting, dank cellar with a dripping sewer pipe running through it. Initially, the men assess their new living situation and remark on how bleak their circumstances have become, attempting to make light of their misery by cracking jokes and throwing banter back and forth at each other. Not before long, Brother begins to see that there is something off about his new cellmate, as Nutcase becomes more and more delirious. After what seems to be hours and hours of nutcase endlessly yammering on about seemingly nothing, eventually brother cannot take it anymore and begs Nutcase to be quiet, but his requests are denied, as Nutcase tries to cheer him up by pretending to be a bird and dancing about. Brother finally snaps and becomes violent in an effort to finally get some peace and quiet. As punishment, Brother is forced to clean a filthy shit-caked toilet with a fork. The following day, Nutcase wakes up before Brother. It is clear his mental state has simply worsened as he takes the only shared plate that the two men have and decide to make what he calls sweetbread by defecating on it. A segment in the film which is unsimulated and explicitly shown. After eating a significant portion of his own feces and spreading much of it around the cell and on his own body, he finally decides to wake up his cellmate and offer him breakfast. Unsurprisingly, Brother becomes furious. The prison staff hear the commotion coming from the cell and decide to punish the two men by taking them down to the prison basement and placing them into a pit. There, they are sexually humiliated, further stripped of their humanity, and pushed to the limits of their own psyche. A decision made by the prison staff, which ends in unimaginable consequences of chaos and violence. The film received a limited theatrical release in Russia, but due to the film's explicit content and subject matter, it was unable to reach a mainstream distribution or success with the film even being banned from distribution within Belarus. Despite this, the film has slowly garnered a strong cult following online, with the green elephant becoming the subject of countless memes and jokes within internet culture, and even the development of a fan-made video game. Despite this popularity, getting your hands on a copy of the film is somewhat of a challenge, as it is rumored that Baskova, the film's director, no longer wants anything to do with the film, 
and the picture is currently unavailable through any home media distribution label or service, resulting in bootlegs of the film currently being the only way to get your hands on a copy of it. In the end, The Green Elephant is a bleak study into the psychological degradation of human beings forced to be held in captivity, as well as how barbaric human beings can become when an artificial compartmentalization of value and power is distributed unevenly and left unsupervised. From William Golding's Lord of the Flies to Philip Zimbardo's Stanford Prison Experiment, we have heard these tales before. Beskova's The Green Elephant is a retelling of these same warning signs through the medium of exploitation cinema. And it works. Before I end this video, if you're a fan of Cinema's Underbelly and are interested in checking out some of my other projects, make sure to visit my podcast, The Uneasy Terrain Explorers Club, where I examine different aspects of fringe culture through film, art, ideology, and lifestyle. Also, make sure to check out my label, Putrid Productions, where you can purchase films that I've released, check out my photo book series, and snag merch of my various projects. As always, thank you for watching, and if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Till next time, this is Cinema's Underbelly.